Hello everyone. Welcome to another soap making video. My name is Tamika and this is a soap throne. So today I'm making another soap using a brambleberry fragrance called Pacific Pearl. It's a part of their Seascape collection. Um, this one is a little bit sweet smelling. Mostly kind of, um, um, I guess green. I use that word a lot to describe to <laughs> to describe a scent that I consider sort of plant-like, but that's not quite herbal. Maybe a little grass-like. But anyway, I am going to be calling this soap Beachcomber. Yes. So we are going to get started right after I remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, so that I know. Um, if you'd like to see more soap making videos in the future go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and you can hit the little bell icon if you'd like to be the first to know when I upload a video. Alright so we are gonna get started. First I'm going to pour the lye solution into the mixture, the oil mixture. In the last soap that I made I added kelp powder but in this one I decided to just go with um, my usual additives so that I could avoid that green color. It was fine for that particular soap, the one that I'm calling Salish Sea. But um, this one I'm gonna be using some lighter colorants and I just wanna be sure that, you know, the colors aren't too corrupted or anything. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and give this a few whisks with the um, stick blender just you know a few short spurts okay so here we go yep that'll do it right there so I don't want to do much blending on this one especially because this fragrance is expected to accelerate a bit the coloring should be fine but I'm expecting some acceleration Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and split off a little bit for my colors. That will be for the gold. And then next I'm going to split off a little bit of white. For white, I mean. I'm using, for my white, Brambleberry Snowflake Sparkle Mica. I'm hoping to get a little bit of shimmer into the soap. And next I'm looking for my gold. This will actually be the color of the sand. We're gonna take our blue mix this in and then a beautiful color I believe this one is called Caribbean blue also by Brambleberry so now I'm going to add the fragrance oil to the gold and then I will pour it into the mold Okay, it's starting to thicken. So I think it might be safe to pour it in. I thought I might have to use my stick blender again, but it's doing okay now. Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the mold. This one represents the sand, so it's going to line the bottom, just a bit at the bottom. I don't need to save any of this for the top, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it all in now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the fragrance oil to the white, and then also to the blue. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour some of this in, just in two places. 
actually maybe a little bit more because so I do want this to represent the sea uh, maybe a little bit more there I'm not going to bother stirring that has set up nicely alright so here we go wait a minute is that enough let me add some more I somehow don't think that's going to be enough Right, here we go. We're adding our C. A little bit, and for the remainder, we're going to do the sky. So I'm just going to incorporate everything into here. Go ahead and stir it all up. It's not much lighter, but see how it goes. Okay. I'm just going to try pouring a little bit of this on. Nothing major. Just to get um, a little bit of texture going at the top. Let's see, is it? Nope, it's not too thick to decorate, really. naturally all right here is her close-up all right everyone thank you again so much for joining me i hope wherever you are you're staying pretty cool i hope you all have a wonderful week and i will see you next time all right Ciao!